What's going on, Dolphins fans? It's Mitchell Renz here from Chat Sports. And coming up here on today's show, we're going to get into the latest news and rumors going on around Miami. we got a lot to talk about at the running back position. Plus, two big-name players are on the COVID list. We're going to be breaking all of that down for you. The first name coming up here is Philip Lindsay, who unfortunately has been put on the COVID list and it doesn't look like he's going to be able to rock and roll this week. Week 15 up against the New York Jets and this is well kind of some bad news for the running back depth here in Miami because you're not you're more than likely not going to have Lindsay. You're not going to have your starting running back Miles Gaskin and then you're also not going to have Savon Ahmad either because they are also on the COVID list. So this is a really interesting story, which is why the Dolphins went out and they signed a running back today. Find out if it was Lamar Miller or not. Now, what I do want you guys to do is take a second, look underneath the video, and you're going to see a big red button. It's going to say subscribe. If you could do me a favor and you could click that and then turn on your notifications, that way you don't miss a thing because I don't want you to be that friend showing up at a holiday party and you're like, man, you see this thing going on around the Dolphins, and your buddy's like, what are you talking about? That's not even true. Don't be that dude. So subscribe for free Dolphins videos around the latest news and rumors. So with those running backs not being able to play this upcoming week, you're going to have to go and you're going to look at some other avenues here. Jared Dokes, he has yet to play this season for Miami, but he has been on the practice squad and he's already been promoted. Another running back that's starting to get quite a bit of buzz on Twitter and on Instagram is Duke Johnson. Will you see Duke Johnson on the field this upcoming week? Obviously, he's the all-time leading rusher at Miami. He's done a lot of good things, I think, for the state of Florida, and I know a lot of people are excited about him. However, I don't know how much of an impact he's going to make, though I will say I do think he could be a pretty solid, deep flex type of play in a fantasy league just simply because the New York Jets are so bad at defending running backs. Speaking of another running back that actually spent some time playing for the Miami Hurricanes, it's Lamar Miller, and this is probably the biggest story going on right now around the Dolphins. He worked out for Miami today, and for those of you that don't remember or lived underneath a rock or maybe just recently Dolphin fan, he played with this team from 2012 to 2015, and there's no doubt that the Dolphins right now, they need some running back depth. So here's going to be a question that I ask you, and I want every person that comes across today's Dolphins Today video to go down in the comment section and let me know. Should the Dolphins go out and sign Lamar Miller? I want you to type Y for yes, or I want you to scroll on down and type N for no. Now, my answer to this is if he's 100% healthy, then I'll say sure. Why the hell not? Because I've seen Miller be a halfway decent productive running back. And at this point, when you have all those injuries, you're looking for a one-week rental. You're looking for somebody who you can hopefully bring in, not turn the ball over, and be able to just absorb your offense now here's the issue he's played in only one game since 2019 he played in only one game from 2020 he had two catches no carries last season 2019 I mean we're just talking about you haven't seen Lamar Miller realistically play more than 14 games since 2018 season now one of my things that I loved about Miller was his ability to run and catch, even though he never really got to catch the football, I think, to the highest of his abilities. In his last three seasons with the Houston Texans, and these are the years that I'm going to say his last real three seasons. 2018, he had 210 carries. 2017, 238. 2016, 268 carries, over 1,000 yards and five touchdowns. But y'all probably care about the numbers that he put up with Miami from 2015 to 2012. I mean, you're looking at these numbers as a rookie. This season in 2013 was the year that Miller got a lot of buzz. And I'm not just saying that because his last name is Miller, Miller Light, make the connection, I don't know. I'm also going to say because he had some good zap, he had some good bursts, and there was really good opportunities for him where he had some big-time games. What about in the receiving category? 2020, that was the game where I was saying he had two catches, one game for six yards. 2017, he was able to get it going a little bit more, 327 receiving yards. But then with Miami... The 2015 season was a season I remember very well because I drafted Miller in basically all my fantasy leagues. I thought he was going to have this just major blow-up type of season, and for whatever reason, I really think the Dolphins were afraid to fully commit to him. When you look at some of his numbers from a career standpoint, 1,354 carries, 5,864 yards, 4.3 yards per carry, and 32 total touchdowns. So what I want you guys to do right now is play Madden. How good is Lamar Miller overall from a scale from 0 to 100? Not in 2012 to 2015 when he played for Miami. 
Not the last time we saw him playing for the Houston Texans. If you had to take a guess right now, let me know how good is Lamar Miller from a scale from 0 to 100. Now, as I told you guys, I'm going to keep you guys up to date anytime we get an update. And the latest report out on Miller is, well, he's not actually going to sign with Miami at this time. So despite him working out with the Dolphins on Monday, and despite the Dolphins needing running back depth, they are not going to go out and sign Miller. That doesn't mean that they didn't sign a running back, because guess what? They did. They went out and they signed Dexter Williams. Yes, he has been signed to the practice squad, has yet to play in 2021, spent a little bit of time in 2020 and in 2019 on a few NFL teams. But Dexter Williams was the running back that the Miami Dolphins signed, not Lamar Miller. Now, if anybody out there wants to go ahead and bet on the Dolphins this upcoming week, you got to go to one place and one place only. It's BetUS. But if you don't use the link below, chatsports.com slash bet, you're not going to get the best deal on the internet. What's the best deal on the internet? If you deposit $100, you're going to get $125 for free. You can actually deposit up to $500, and that means you're going to get $625 dollars for free to bet with so whether you want to bet on the Dolphins whether you want to bet on any NFL week 15 game if you want to bet on NBA I don't really care what you do with it it's your money I'm just giving you some free money it's chatsports.com slash bet promo code Dolphins 125 we got some more news here to be able to wrap our minds around Javon Holland also headed to the COVID list now Philip Lindsay I get it he had 12 carries 45 yards the last time we saw him week 12 up against Carolina Losing Javon Holland is a much, much bigger loss for this Miami secondary. Now, I think they'll be okay because they're playing the New York Jets and Zach Wilson. However, it is a major loss. This has been a – I mean, Holland has really stepped up since McCourty has gone down. He's got 51 tackles, two INTs, but what he does – is he is that Swiss Army knife for this defense, and you can go a lot of different looks, which has made him a very, very good piece this season. Another player where this might be hard to believe, but Brian Flores doesn't anticipate Will Fuller to play this week. Wow, really? I know. Shocking. He's played in only 65 snaps this season. I'm going to say that one more time. Will Fuller has played in only 65 snaps this season and is making $10 million. Guys like Will Fuller is why I do not like guaranteed contracts in the National Football League. I don't understand how anybody can just show up or not show up and still get paid this type of money. If you were to show up to work and not really show up to work, you wouldn't get paid. I absolutely hate guaranteed contracts, and I think the sooner sports go to contracts that are based on performance every single year the better it's going to be that way you don't get guys sitting out not putting their all in because Fuller he had three catches week one on Monday night football against the Raiders since then one catch Will Fuller has not been worth the contract and it doesn't look like he's going to be playing this uh, week but that probably doesn't surprise anybody another injury update to be able to keep you guys up to date on here is around Michael Deiter offensive guard of the Miami Dolphins they are hopeful, Brian Flores at least, that he's going to be able to play this week. And the reason why they were a little bit worried whether or not he'd be out there on the field, he was in a walking boot after week 13 against the Giants. Now remember, the Dolphins had a week 14 bye, so he had this extra time to be able to get healthy. And for Miami, a team that was sitting there at 1-7, and seven, you need to have all these pieces, especially on the offensive line as you're moving forward. So one of the things that we're going to break down here is the AFC playoff picture because I, I talked about it last week, all the chances that Miami had. I gave you the teams of who they should root for. And as it stands right now, the Dolphins, with a 6-7 and seven record, absolutely have a realistic shot of making the playoffs, which is a mind-blowing thing to me. But they've won five straight games. They have a pretty easy schedule going forward, minus the final game of the season up against the New England Patriots. But what do you all think? Will the Dolphins make the playoffs? I want you to type P for playoffs or W for won't. For everybody that watched our Dolphins mailbag last week, somebody said, Mitch, quit using the word playoffs. So if you are, what are the chances the Dolphins make the postseason? I believe the other words that the thesaurus gave me were elimination was one and tournament. Will the Dolphins make the tournament? Type T for tournament or P for playoffs. I don't care what you do. Or type W for won't. Now, if you made it this far in the video, I'm going to give you that reminder one more time to hit that big red button that says subscribe. Coming up here later on in the week, we're going to be breaking down a Jets preview. I'm also going to give you an even more up-to-date look at the Dolphins' chances of making the playoffs.